Now to life after Hurricane Maria and Puerto Rico is canceling a controversial $300 million contract with Whitefish Energy to restore power to the island. The head of Puerto Rico's power company, Prepa, estimates the cancellation will delay power restoration by 10 to 12 weeks. CBS News correspondent David Begno visited the company's headquarters in Montana. It's interfering with, uh, with everything, it's, and it doesn't go uh, towards the best interest of the people of Puerto Rico. Governor Ricardo Rosselló has praised PREPA's decision to cancel the contract with Whitefish Energy. But San Juan Mayor Carmen Yulín Cruz, who was an early and fierce critic of the contract, says it needs to be voided entirely due to a single clause. The people of Puerto Rico would still have to pay something called a reasonable profit on top of everything that they have already been charged. The outcry began after revelations that a $300 million no-bid contract to repair Puerto Rico's devastated power grid had been awarded to Whitefish Energy. At the time of Hurricane Maria, it was said to be a two-person operation based in Whitefish, Montana, the hometown of U.S. Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke. We went there looking for the company's headquarters. We found what's believed to be the headquarters here in rural Montana, but it looks like a private residence. This two-bedroom house in a remote area of northwestern Montana is where the energy company calls home. After signing the deal, Whitefish hired 350 workers, and the company says it was moving more than 500 linemen to the island this week. The head of PREPA, Ricardo Ramos, has defended the $300 million deal and on Sunday emphasized there was nothing illegal about it. In a statement, Whitefish said the decision will only delay what the people of Puerto Rico want and deserve, to have the power restored quickly. There can be no distraction whatsoever that alters the course of action so that we can elevate and restore our energy system in Puerto Rico. The governor is warning this could result in a lawsuit from Whitefish. Now, we called PREPA to find out if they might void the contract, and they told us no, they will be canceling it. By the way, Whitefish Energy first got in contact with power officials in Puerto Rico because the Whitefish CEO sent a message via the social media site LinkedIn. David Begno, CBS News, Los Angeles.